my chum Brad are going to try and fix this wing pin. As you can see, it's broken flush here. So I'm not so sure how to go about it. But what we've got is uh, this little tool that we made for drilling out broken hinges. I'm going to see if we can uh, use this and recut it so we can put a new uh, quarter inch dowel in there. So it's kind of jagged, so I can't really see where it is. So I think I'm going to sand it flush a little bit. And then we'll try and get this on and see if we can drill into it. So that's about what we're going to do. All right, so I'm going to send it and see what happens. Yeah, that's defined it. So let's uh, try and drill it out. So if you hold the wings steady, what I'm going to do first, I'm going to just sort of try and get a little bit by hand just to get it sort of started. Otherwise that drill could go flying on me. And then uh, we lose it all. You know what? It's... Just go slow. So I've got this serrated edge cut on there. So it's a poor man's drill. So I'll put the drill in slow. And I'm going to try and just get to the outside of that. Damn it. So the inside diameter of my tube is exactly quarter inch, which is the dowel. So the trick, I guess, is to try and just get started. So the dowel goes inside. I think it's sort of working. What the hell I glued that in with? <laughs> but it's uh, kind of tough. All right, ready? It looks like we get, we're spot on. I just have to try and get in there now. Oh, whoa. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> Well, <laughs> we've got a hole there, that's for sure. So I guess we'll see if we can get some quarter inch dowel in it and uh, see what we're dealing with. All right, let's see. The thing is, there's supposed to be a backing plate on the inside here. I think when we drilled it there, I busted it out. Something rattling in there. Yeah, so <laughs> that's going to create a problem. Yeah, I can see it from here. Damn it. Oh, you know, though, I can come in here and glue it in place. What's the other one like? Oh, I know what it was. Yeah, okay. All right, so this Andy Dandy endoscope I bought the other day for my vehicle, I can see the piece here now. And that's what broke off. Uh, I guess I was a little enthusiastic in uh, what I was doing here. But it's actually kind of a cool tool because I can now see inside the wing. So what I'll try and do is remove that at least and uh, we'll get back. All right, so this is the uh, piece and uh, how I did it after, I guess it was about six, seven years ago. <laughs> When I did this, I couldn't remember what the hell I did. So I've got these uh, two uh, one eighth washers, if you will, which glued in to the back there. Then the tube went in. So what we'll do is try and do that because I've got this uh, got this big hole here for the serve, uh, for the receiver to go in. So I'm going to see if I can get one on the back 
get some glue into it and put the new one in. All right, so I've got the epoxy mixed up. So <clears throat> what we're going to try and do here, I've got some tape so it won't fall out. So we're going to see if we can get this epoxy on without screwing something up. Yeah, it's all over me now. Can you hold that there, Brad? There we go. Just come this way on an angle. There. This has never been tried before. <laughs> well, I've got it on there, okay. I can just see it. So what I'm going to do now is pull it in and twisty. As we go, unfortunately, we got some epoxy on there, which we definitely need to get off. Obviously, I'm going to have epoxy all over me. All right, we can get rid of that. Let's hide that. Put the wing flat again. All right, we're going to peel this tape off. Yeah, okay, the sleeve. All right, so this sleeve, because we drilled it with the uh, brass tubing, it's going to be lots of room for this thing to move. So what we've done, we've made this sleeve. Is that the right end? Or that end? Oh, we'll the see. chopped up end should be the out. And this will center. I'm going to push it just a bit in. There we go. Like that. Okay, get the CA and the kicker. Got it? Yeah, I've got it. My finger's getting tired. <laughs> okay, so theoretically... So I've got the epoxy on the back. We've got our tube in which centers the dowel, otherwise the dowel could be off just a fraction of an inch, which would make a bit of a tight fit. So we're gonna just put a bit of CA on there. Just hit that with kicker. There we go. And uh, this is just like spot welding, but it's a temporary. So that should hold is it yeah it's cured so now we'll just put a little ca on the back side because uh it should allow us there you go so now that should be like it was originally we've got the backing uh Support washers on the inside. We looked with that endoscope and everything was super clear. So that looks like it's sitting nice and uh, angled the way it should be. Uh, it's not so good that way though. I can just move it a tad. All right, that's about all we can do. So we'll let that cure. And then uh, we can cut the brass tubing, which is centering the dowel. Yeah, it looks like it is centering it good. And then we should be able to pull the, the uh, brass tubing off. And then this pin should be uh, in its original condition. But what I'm going to do is once we've it's cured and everything, we're going to dribble some of the uh, expendable foam glue in there just to act as a backing support and then uh, put it on edge so it can cure and hopefully all this works all right so we decided to uh, stick the endoscope in before it cures just to make sure that we got it right and it looks like we absolutely nailed it so you can see there's a good flange of epoxy it just come out. Sure, your head's not in the way. And it's fitting flush in there, so I think we're good. I love this tool, you know that? Yeah. I, I should put it in my description. I mean, this is really good. Put this, a link on there. I will. This this actually saved my ass 
when I was doing the fuel pump. Because yeah. <laughs> I could see, I, I drilled a, a ha half-inch hole so I could stick this in to see where the fuel pump was. <laughs> and then I was able to measure it, then just cut it out. Yeah, it's on. All right, so now I'm just going to make some more five-minute epoxy. And then put a little bit of thickening agent in there. Just to thicken it up a bit. That should be enough, I think. And this is just to back up what we've already done, just in case. I think that's a bit too quick and dry, but what the hell. Right, I'm just going to glob it in with my finger on the back side. <laughs> Easier said than done, right? Now, can we do this without messing everything up? Ow, finger got stuck. <laughs> that work. Right, that's the best I can do, I think. All right, like that cure. And uh, should be good. Well, I think that uh, came out all right. So glad I put that tape across the servo wires. Because <laughs> I've got epoxy all in there. All right, then. It should be good. <laughs>